Hi there, I'm Lean, and this is the fourth video in the Electronics Test Workflow series, where I'll be digging into the different parts of the workflow. In the last video, we covered what to consider when building the test code that you want to automate. In this video, we're going to put these tests that we built together into an auto-scheduled sequence in Test Stand. Okay, so here we have the three uh, tests that we built in the last video, the three Instrument Studio plugins, the FET, the filter, and the diode. But now, now that we have our individual tests, we need a way to organize the tests, uh, manage the hardware resources so that we can test all of these uh, four different units under test in parallel. And in order to do that, we're going to be using Test Stand, which is uh, our NI's test executive, where we can sequence our test. So here I've opened file, new sequence file, and created a new uh, test stand sequence file. And this is a test stand sequence editor where you can start to add our test steps. And here you can see on the left, we have the insertion palette. We can add the different tests like pass fail tests. We can add flow control options, if else and while, some synchronization. And you can see that we can also add test steps written in different languages, LabVIEW, C.NET, Python, whatever you want. But since today our tests or our custom plugins we've built using the Instrument Studio Pro technology, we're going to add them from here. So you can double click or drag and drop. Let's double click that first one. We've added our first measurement uh, step, but how do we you know, configure this? So there's two different ways to do it. Let's say that this is the filter test that I want. Down here in step settings, under measurement, it's going to de detect these published uh, plugins. So we said we want this to be the filter test. There we go. It imported the configuration. Let's do this again. This time, let's drag and drop just to show you something different. Let's say this is the FET. This time around, I'm going to do it slightly different. I'm going to go back to Instrument Studio go to the FET characterization, copy the configuration, the measurement configuration from there, go back here and over here again from the test set, the settings, the step settings, I'm going to paste it. There we go. And let's add this last one. This will be the diode or LED test. Let's call it LED here. And I'll do it this, the first way <laughs> this time around. There we go. So now we have are three different tests, the filter, FET, and LED. They're in sequence, so technically we can run, you know, one test at a time, uh, one death at a time, but we said our challenge is we're going to be testing all of our deaths at once in parallel, so we want to auto-schedule these. Now, parallel test makes sense logically, right? Like, oh, test in parallel, we'll have to use less hardware and we'll test faster. But it's not easy, it's hard. Usually having to code uh, this auto-scheduling could take up to 100 hours of programming. Luckily with Test Stand, it's actually a built-in functionality that we can just drag and drop right here. And then we can drag and drop the different steps that we want to schedule. And this pretty much means that Test Stand is going to do the thinking for you. It's going to do the resource management of, oh, this instrument should be, you know, on dot one doing this test while this other instrument is on dot two doing the other test. It'll find the most efficient way possible to run this. Now, there are a few more steps to, to add, especially in the setup and cleanup, but we've done this for you, you know, for the sake of time. And this is the ready, the full, fully completed test sequence. So let's run it. Uh, let's not save, <laughs> let's just run. And it's going to ask me right now if I want to put in the serial numbers. I'm just going to skip that for now, keep them blank. And to help us visualize what's happening, because Test Stand is now going to run through these different test steps on all of the deaths, I'm going to open the profile execution. And there we go. So here you're going to see how Test Stand is allocating the resources based on availability and based on the most efficient way possible for us to, to schedule the, this test. So if we focus on one instrument, let's take the SMU here. Or when it's being used in socket three, it's blocked, not being used anywhere else. The second it's done, it's been reassigned to socket two and then later to socket one. In the meanwhile, 
the scope is being, let's keep this there. The scope is, is being used whenever the SMU is being used. So all of this organizing, this brain work, Test Stand is doing for you, which is really a powerful and impressive thing. Now, when, the, when Test Stand is done running, um, it'll automatically create a report for you that you can customize, especially if you don't like these neon colors. And you can customize this and also share it with others. You can share it to databases such as MySQL or Oracle. So now we have a fully auto-scheduled sequence running three tests across four units under test in parallel. In the following video in the series, I will walk us through using these same custom measurements to debug and monitor your test as it's running. Watch the series today to learn how you could build your custom test system too. Thanks.